turn my 987 model Porsche Cayman and I was looking at the instrument cluster obviously I know this I bought the car I knew what the cluster looked like what was on it but it finally started getting to me because I want to take her to Buttonwella for the first time it's a racetrack I want oil pressure and some oil temperature I was looking at my friend's M3 factory gauge right there also of course yeah oh you should have gotten the 911 I know those come with a factory one but since I don't have one I figured Let's try a little alternative. Let's try one of these OBD2 adapters on my, uh, with an application on my phone. Unfortunately, I was able to find, uh, find a meter for oil temp. Of course, coolant. Coolant definitely works, but for some reason I couldn't get a reading off of oil temperature. It just gives me this little dash. Yeah, even with the engine on, you know, the rest of it comes to life, but that oil temp stays the same. I looked up what the oil pressure sender looks like, and I looked at, it might have been a 99, an M97 engine, but on a 997 or a, maybe a boxed or whatever it was, but I saw next to the intake, here we are on the passenger side, now that I've got the oil pressure sender unplugged, I'm going to give it a start up, my seatbelt's on, so we shouldn't carry any, and the rear lid's closed. <laughs> nothing. I've, now that I've turned the engine on with this unplugged, I was thinking maybe it made ground or something, but no, it's still a little rubber sleeve disconnected. Anyway, just to be safe, let's put her back, tuck it in. But apparently it does nothing as far as, you know, telling you. Maybe this is like the completely wrong sensor. Anyway, I'll put it back. Better safe than sorry. So that's what it's supposed to look like once it's back together. A little rubber boot. Connect, and the, you obviously connect the, the terminal, the spade terminal. Since I couldn't get, uh, get the, the dash or instrument cluster to show me you know, any error message, let's figure out exactly what this thing reads. So right now the engine's pretty hot. It's the coolant temp in the on the dash tells me it's a uh, 175 so it's a full operating temperature so I'm clipping to that and I'm going to clip to the ground and I've got my dimum over here dimum says yeah it's digital multimeter for anyway five tenths of an ohm hooked up engines running and that's our reading What does it say? Cool. All right, so apparently it works because it does change, and that must be oil pressure because it changes when the engine's on. Let's just turn the ignition on just to see if it's not that. Oh yeah, it has to be with uh, oil flow. So. I'm it's definitely oil pressure. And the oil pressure sender on this side. If the heads are interchangeable, I haven't done my research, but I'm, I'm assuming to save development costs they are it looks like they are because uh, there's the evil twin so this might be the, the perfect place for me to take my aftermarket gauges uh, pressure and temperature readings so I'll let you guys know what I figure out this is the AFE filter so it looks like it's just the right spot. Hadn't shifted anything, so. 35,993 on her odometer. I decided to clean up this uh, coolant reservoir.
news that I figured out. If you recognize this little guy. It was indeed a plug for my new oil pressure sender location. Yep, looks like a 14.